Okay, welcome back to part two. Uh, we'll be doing the create underscore file dot php. Um, so in here, um, we're just going to create a HTML form first down here. Um, post slash HTML, and we're just going to create a form here, and that's going to go to edit um, underscore file dot php and the method is going to be post you'll see why I'm creating a form here um, in, t in a minute um, enter text input type is text um, sorry we're not going to have an input type on this one because we don't know how much the user is going to enter so we can basically just have a text area and the name of this uh, we're just going to put it as edit for now um, so forward slash text area um, so we're just going to leave it as that um, we need to paragraph this breakdown but first in here I'm going to specify um, how many columns the user can have and um, how many rows the user can have so columns I'm just going to say um, 100 will do to make it kind of wide and 20 will do to make it kind of um, long um, so now we need an input type and this input type is going to be a hidden field because um, the name um, we're just going to have as file file name on that one, and the value is going to contain um, PHP code. Um, so we'll get to that later on. Um, so that's that, and input type is going to be the submit button. Um, we don't need a name just a value again value and it's going to have a save and um, so that's the farm done so if we just um so if we just put a name in here say um our games click create file it comes to this page um and it asks us to a minute if I just put a break in between them two resend that, there we go, enter text, enter text in here, enter as much as you want basically and then click save. Um, now for the PHP code, now what um, what it's going to do in this PHP code is actually create the file. Um, so before we can actually edit out this file, the file needs to be created. So um, we can basically, I'm just going to create a pre Free file name and that's going to be equal to dollar underscore post and we're going to get the name of the file the user has entered from index.php up here um, the name of the file the user put in um, and we need an extension onto this now this is where you specify what the user um, can or cannot um, save as so at the moment I'm going to put it as dot text um, and then we need the file name is going to equal the pre underscore file name I'm going to concatenate it onto that the extension so that's basically going to just put um, the files together and then um, f open in here uh, file name and we are going to write the file to the directory so that's basically just going to create the file um, for example if I come back here type in games click if I, I mean, if I just go to the directory here as you can see I've not got a games.txt file here under create file but if I click create now that should have created the file so if I refresh 
as you can see we've got a games.txt file appeared there so that has created the file successfully um, now for the edit file um, this is where this form will go to after I've entered a few games so um, we don't need HTML code in there because the user is not actually going to see this uh, well they are but they're not going to see much they're just going to give a link back to um, index.php so first off we need the need an edit this is going to get the um, what the user has um, entered in that um, so uh, in that big box and we also need the file name from what the user has um, user has created that that's why we uh, created a hidden field here so I hope we didn't uh, finish this off here basically what we're going to do on this is just echo out the um, file name to actually send to this next page um, if it'll there we go that's basically what that's going to do so uh, basically if I just uh, completely refresh this now to I can see games.txt has been created and has now appeared here so if I just delete that um, just for now because we've not actually done anything with the uh, file yet so I'll refresh um, games click create and that sends us to this um, so now that we've got the file name and the edit um, we need to um, open the directory, open the file that the, that was just previously created in the last um, page. So um, F open, and we want to open up the um, file name, and we want to. Um, so we don't need speech marks in the file name and we want to write to the file so now that we've opened up the file we need to write to the file so f write and this is basically going to say we're going to write the file um, we're going to write to the file the first one is where we're going what we're going to write to and the second one is what you're going to put in the file so I'm going to put the edit in there so now that we've wrote it um, wrote to the file we need to close the file up so what we're going to close the file and then we're going to just echo out to the user it's a friendly message saying um, file file saved um, click here to continue and we can basically just link these back to the um, index page to actually see the file that they've created so forward slash a so if I enter something here into games we've got um, I don't know, black ops um, FIFA 11 you know just some games click save that is file save, click here to continue and we get here um, if you click on the file name it comes up there of what we uh, have saved into the file um, edit which sends us to a page that we um, have not yet configured and a delete that we've not yet configured yet so join me in part 3 for how to create the edit and delete files see you in part 3